fastest cure to anxiety that I've ever encountered is something that therapists are not doing with patients. I'll teach it to you as quickly as I can. Simply put, get super, super pissed off, angry, aggressive, powerful, violent in your mind and physiology. Don't actually hurt anyone, please. I'm not telling you to do that. Let me explain how this works. So our body uses emotions to motivate us to do things that are to help the species survive. You feel hungry, so you eat. You feel lustful, so you sleep with someone, someone who consents. You feel afraid, so you run away, you hide, you escape. You are careful, you are watchful and alert. The emotion of anxiety and the resulting things that it drives you to do have probably been keeping humans alive for millions of years. There's a bunch of saber-toothed tigers out there. This is gonna be really beneficial for you. If your tribe or clan might kill you at any time or attack you or reject you at any time, uh, this is really useful. You need to be really watchful and careful. But the issue is that we don't really deal with that anymore. I mean, you're not really in any danger the vast majority of the time, not, not really. There's no wolves or warring tribes or anything like that going on. It's just you living your life. Anxiety has gone from being useful to being essentially a disease that just makes us miserable all the time. No one in your class is going to try to kill you, probably. Um, there's really nothing for you to be terrified about that you need to be that anxious and worried about. There's just, there's just really nothing. Anxiety is useless. It, it's, it's terrible. It makes you perform worse. Rarely is running away ever the right thing to do in the vast majority of situations. There are times that it's useful. I mean, please don't go play hopscotch in the middle of the highway or, you know, jump around on the edge of the Grand Canyon or something. It has uses, but just not usually in everyday life. Most therapists will say, well, if you're feeling anxious, just calm yourself down. Go from anxiety to peace. Breathe slowly and chant mantras to yourself and relax your muscles. And this is all great, except for if anybody's ever had really bad anxiety, it's very hard to go from super anxious to relax. That's like skipping a huge step. And it's kind of an unnatural step. Normally what happens when we're anxious is we run away from someone or something and then, you know, in, in a natural kind of evolutionary environment where we're surrounded by dangers, we run. We run really fast until we get exhausted. But then we still have to be on guard because we, they might still be following us. There might be something wrong. So you run and you're tired and then you kind of relax, but you're still anxious and it, it just never goes away. Uh, you don't just go to peaceful. So, but there is a natural progression to peaceful. And that is going from anxious mode to power mode to peaceful mode. And that's what I said at the very beginning. You get super pissed off, like you are going to win the war, win the battle. Now, humans have been doing this for a really long time. Uh, you've got a bunch of soldiers lined up in suits of armor with uh, swords and spears, and, and they're all pissing themselves and shaking and dropping their swords and sweating and having panic attacks because they're about to die. And now, if they go into battle like that, they're going to lose. So they have to go into power mode. What do they do? They raise their arms above their head. They bang their shields against their swords. They shout. They, they chant war cries. They growl. They go into power mode. And then they go into battle with power mode. And then they win. Or they die. But hopefully they win. And then, after the battle's over, now the enemy is defeated. Now you go into peace mode. Your body's not naturally going to go into peace mode very easily unless you go into power mode first because the thing could still be chasing you. You need to face the, the wolf or the saber-toothed tiger, kill it with your spear, and now you can relax. The enemy is conquered. So how do you do this? Well, there's a certain breathing pattern, a certain thought pattern, a certain behavior pattern that you have to go into power mode. It's just imagine yourself at the edge of battle, getting yourself hyped up. You're gonna beat the enemy. You breathe deep and fast. Your face needs to look fierce, bare your teeth, Grimace, arr, um, growl, uh, shout like a war cry, like you're trying to scare off the coyotes. Raise your arms above your head like you're about to pound them down on something. Put them out in front of you like you're about to hit something. I don't advise doing this in public. Uh, you might get locked in the psych ward or the police called on you. But if you're by yourself, anything goes, right? Tell yourself really powerful thoughts like, I'll destroy anything in my path and I'm unstoppable and whatever else you need to feel powerful, like you're in a battle and you need to win. Once you do power mode properly, which means you've got the breathing right, the thinking right, the body position right, the facial expression right, everything's right, the anxiety should end. 
like immediately. If it doesn't end immediately, you're not doing some part of it right. You're not breathing right. You, you don't have the right kind of thoughts. You don't have the right kind of body position. You don't have the right facial expression. Something's wrong. So practice it. Get it till it's just right. Now, once anxiety is conquered and you're in power mode, don't stay there. You don't want to be, you know, acting like you're pissed off all the time about to beat somebody up. Nobody can stay there forever. It's not a good place to stay. So now transition into peace mode because you've just defeated the enemy. Now you can be peaceful. Imagine this scenario. You're walking down the street. You see a little child. The child is being bitten by a coyote. And the coyote's, you know, ripping his arm open and there's blood. And, and at first, you feel anxious. <gasps> you know, <laughs> you're going to breathe fast. And then power mode kicks in. Now you get pissed off. Now you charge at it, screaming and growling and showing your teeth. And you turn that coyote into a rug. Now the child is crying and sad and bleeding. And what do you do? Now you go to peace mode. You calm the child down. You speak peaceful things. You are okay. You are safe. Everything is all right. You relax your muscles, you relax your face. You're not doing this anymore. You know, relax everything. Breathe slowly and deeply. You try to calm the child down. That's peace mode. This natural progression from anxiety to power to peace is something that you can do much more easily than going straight from anxiety to peace. It's like adding an extra stair step in there or another rung on the ladder. It's much easier to reach peace from power than it is from anxiety. Anyways, give this a try. Hopefully this will help you. One last thing to add, and that is there actually is a source of anxiety that is useful and something that you need to listen to. Sometimes we have anxiety when there's something that we know we should do and we're putting it off and we're not doing it. And the cure to that is not getting angry. The cure to that is to do it. And as I say this, something may be coming to your mind right now that you're putting off that you know that you need to do. If you have that, you don't need a benzo, you don't need to get angry, you don't need to do any of these things. You need to just go take care of it. You need to face that dragon, that saber-toothed tiger, whatever it is. You need to confront it and you need to do it. And maybe a little bit of power mode may help you to do that. But that's the cure, is, is to face it, to do it. Don't put it off anymore.